All right, so now I have the seat all the way forward. So you can see it's got this little cover right here and that's gonna bring you to your battery. So I'll move that cover out of the way and down here, really fast, you'll see that you've got your negative terminal and your positive terminal over there. This battery does have these little vent tubes right here. I believe that's what they're called. And then you'll see down below even further, there's gonna be some brackets right down here. And I'll show you guys more in a second, but just giving you a little lay down of what you're gonna be doing. So loosen these, remove the bracket, and this guy comes right out. Easier said than done because with the seat this way, you're gonna have to tilt, and this is a big battery. So if you think this is light, you might need a friend. And it looks like the previous owner left me three cents. All right, so to get everything done, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter deep socket to get the bracket itself, and then a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and get the battery terminals disconnected. I went ahead and loosened it, got those two bolts out, and then now I can pull this bracket out of here, and just be careful working around all this metal with the terminal still connected. If you wanted to, you could do the negative terminal first and get that out of the way either put like a glove on it or something to keep it from hitting any other pieces of metal while the positive is still connected but otherwise that's it so now we can go ahead and pop off this guy we'll loosen this 10 millimeter bolt right here and that'll move that out of the way disconnect this guy right here boop boop just like that and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing but it's gonna be a pain to get that positive terminal so just be ready for some busted up knuckles so now that we've got this disconnected and out of the way this battery will slide a little bit forward so I'm gonna try to pull it a little bit closer to me if I can and then move these cables out of the way and then once you disconnect the positive side there's no plug or anything so just wiggle that out of the way and it's time to finesse this thing out of here all right so positive disconnected negative disconnected bracket out of the way and then our little breathing tube right here is out of the way so this is ready to go this is how much space you have so just go ahead and try to wiggle it out and try your best to not uh destroy anything in the process what I did is I rotated it to the left and handles are right here I just did that laid it back in there lifted it from under the bottom slide out this one I went a little bit larger this one's 800 cold crank amps versus the 700 that I had before so it's a little bit beefier ready to work and so I'm gonna throw this in there so all it does remember positive side is gonna go towards the engine and then the negative side is gonna go towards the back of the SUV so throw that in there and move on Batteries back in, wasn't too bad. So positive side first, then negative side. Don't forget your vent tube, and then the bracket down at the bottom. So reverse order, you always start with the negative and end with the negative. So let's get this done. Not much to show you guys there. Positives on, vent tubes on, brackets are secured down there. You guys can see those right there. Oh, well, maybe not. There you go. The one on the left, one on the right. Those are in place. And now it's time to put the negative on, and we're in business. And before you put on the negative, don't forget your little clip to the right there. Make sure you get that on. And now, cover is on. Time to get everything back in place and start it up. All right, time to start it up. Nice, good start up, good start up. So yeah, it doesn't need much. New battery in. And it does save a lot of your settings. So there's only a couple of things like your temperatures and all that that you really have to adjust. But otherwise, Uconnect's got a pretty good built-in backup memory such thing but anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace